Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of car repairs, focusing specifically on how to fix your Toyota's steering angle sensor, SAS, with the incredible CGDI CG70 airbag reset tool. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content like this in the future. Now, let's talk about the CGDI CG70 airbag reset tool. This amazing device now boasts the capability to repair Toyota steering angle sensors, SAS, among other impressive features. With the recent update to version 1.1.0.0, it has added support for various Toyota SAS models, including 89245-0D030, 89245-0T010, and 89245-74010, equipped with UPD703230 chips. Additionally, it has addressed some known issues, ensuring a smoother user experience. Don't forget to check out the latest update info by clicking the link provided for CGDI CG70 Airbag Reset Tool version 1.1.0.0 update. Today, we'll be demonstrating how to repair the Toyota 89245 to 74,010 SAS using the CG70. So, let's gather our tools and get started. What you'll need. CG70 Airbag Reset Tool. VC. Jumper. USB cable. Power supply. Toyota 89,245 to 74,010. Steering angle sensor. Step 1. Setting up. First, connect your CGDI CG70 to your PC using the USB cable and ensure that the CG70 is powered on. Step 2. Launching the software. Now, run the CG70 software on your PC. In the software interface, locate the search box and input 89245 to quickly locate the 89245 to 74010 steering angle sensor model. On the right side of the screen, you'll find a helpful set of instructions highlighted in red. Step 3. Connecting the components. Refer to the wiring diagram provided and use the jumper to establish connections between the CG70 and the Toyota SAS. You'll need to connect the plus 12V power, GND, CAN-H, and CAN-L cables as per the diagram. Step 4. Initiating the repair. Once the connections are in place, click on the SAS Repair button in the software interface to commence the repair process. Step 5. Adjusting the angle. Now. Turn the SAS internal wheel either left or right until the angle deviation value is adjusted to zero. Once achieved, wait for approximately 5 seconds to complete the repair successfully. Step 6. Final check. Verify if the SAS internal wheel aligns with the position indicated in the wiring diagram. If not, carefully open the SAS and manually adjust the wheel to the correct position. Remember not to turn the SAS internal wheel during the dismantling process. And there you have it. Your Toyota Steering Angle Sensor, SAS, has been successfully repaired using the CGDI CG70 Airbag Reset Tool. It's that simple. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Stay tuned for future videos on car repairs, diagnostics, and much more. Until next time, drive safe and happy repairing.